Hi everyone, I'm Tao Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to calculate type 1's SS and type 3 sum over square in Excel and R. And let's try to understand what it means while calculating type 1 and type 3 sum over squares. Let me use this data, which I used for multiple regression analysis. This is Y variable, and there are six uh, independent variables. For multiple regression analysis, we can use RM function, and uh, after tilde, you can specify independent variables. Also, you can consider changing uh, variables order. Uh, in this example, I changed order for X3 variable. As you can see, although we changed we change the order of uh, independent variables, we can, have, we, can, we can get same regression coefficients. However, if you change the order of independent variable, variables, then we can have different type 1 and type uh, uh, different sum of squares. In this example, let me uh, compare how type 1 and type 3 sum of squares are different. Type 1 uh, sum of square is also known as sequential or incremental sum of squares. As you can see, uh, regression sum of squares for all uh, variables, as an example, can be partitioned into this form. So as you can see, x1, x2 given x1, x3 given x1, x2, and x4 given x1, x2, x3. That's why it is uh, called also as uh, sequential uh, sum of squares. For type 3 sum of squares, uh, regression uh, sum of squares can be ex expressed like this way. As you can see, this is marginal form. So for example, for x3 variables, we assume we, uh, x1, x2, and x4 are given in the model. In our program, uh, we can calculate type 1 and type 3 by using AOV function for type 1 and uh, capital A ANOVA function from car library. Also, if you are familiar with CS output, then you can use CS RM library and also AOV1 and AOV3, then you can get uh, exactly the same output like CS output. As you can see, for uh, as an example, x3 variable uh, has uh, this amount of sum of square for type 1, but as you can see, for type 3 sum of square, x3 has larger sum of squares. Okay, let me show you how to calculate how to get this sum of squares uh, for type 1 and type 3. Okay, so as an example, let's calculate uh, x3 type 1 sum of squares. So it means that x1, x2 independent independent variables are given okay so choose regression and for y range select column a and for x range choose column b to column d here okay. and let's get the output here So as you can see, there are three independent variables. Right. And then let also let's uh, get a regression coefficients for x1 and x2 variable. We also need a full model. This is uh, important output. Okay. 
Right. The degrees of freedom for x3 variable is 1 and uh, sum of square for x3 can be calculated by reduced model minus and this model, full model. Okay. And mean square can be calculated by SS over degrees of freedom. And F value is equal to MS over MSE from a total full model, this one. Okay. And then P value is 1 minus FISD X comma 1 comma. And second degree of freedom is from uh, this one. So 23, this one. And true. So as you can see, uh, we can calculate type 1, sum of square, and f value, and p value, right? By using these three different regression models. Right, let's move on to calculate type 3, uh, sum of square, for x3 variable. So as I explained, we assume that all other variables are given, right? So I changed the order. Uh, x3 variable on the on the right on the right side. Okay. Then let's do regression analysis. Uh, column A for y variable uh, x range from x1 to x6 and x6 variables. model without x3 variable so from column B to column F okay so degrees of freedom for x3 is 1 and SS is equal to reduced model minus this full model okay. and ms is equal to ss over degrees of freedom okay. and f value ms over mse P value is 1 minus F dot PIST F value comma degrees of freedom 1 comma and 23 here comma 2 right so this is uh, for x3 sum of square as type 3 so in summary Um, there are four types of uh, sum of square, but in this example, I compared the difference between type 1 and type 3. So type 1 is a sequential uh, sum of square, and type 3 is marginal sum of squares. So type 3 this one. Type 3, as you can see, we, con we uh, consider all other variables are given to calculate regression sum of square for each variable. Type 1 and type 3 has pros and cons. So for me, actually, I, I prefer to use type 3 era because uh, we can calculate, we can see each variable's uh, contribution for regression sum of square. I hope it was useful for you to understand the difference between type 1 and type 3. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.